So you can get some really awesome weapons in Cyberpunk 2077 that are definitely very very powerful to the point that a few of them might even feel a bit too powerful. So that is why in this video we're gonna go over 5 really awesome weapons that you need to get your hands on right now in case they might get nerfed but even then they might still be really powerful because of the way they function. So a few of these can be gotten really early on in the game without doing anything special, meanwhile a couple of them will be tied to some missions so let's jump right into it with all of the weapons and as always if you enjoyed this video at any point don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it by the way today's video has been brought to you thanks to instant gaming if you enjoy cheap games definitely go ahead and check them out by using my links in the description box down below okay right off the bat let's begin with a weapon that can carry you quite a bit up until the middle of the game and maybe even in the end game as I'm still using it right now so this is gonna be Lizzie's tech pistol found in the basement of Lizzie's bar pretty much after finishing the mission called the space in between so if you didn't get it after the mission you can come back at any point and it will still be there for you so if you forgot where Lizzie's bar is it's basically right next to Sutter Street's waypoint on this side of the map basically just head over inside the club into the basement and the gun should be on this very table on the left side from the entrance in the basement now this comes with some really interesting special effect first of all it fires an extra round per shot and if you also charge it up as it is a tech weapon it's going to unload an increasingly higher number of shots for maximum damage and it is actually really insane even if you don't use the charge shot as in it deals a ton of damage and because you shoot extra bullets you have an increased chance to set enemies on fire which is also very very helpful now what I like about this weapon is the fact that it is really precise so it kind of shoots all of its bullets in a rather concentrated kind of cone so the accuracy on this is not going to disappoint you also if you fully charge this you are going to lose on some of that accuracy but at the same time you can unload the entire clip which can be really helpful against enemies with high HP like bosses and so on and so forth moving on to the second one we have an even more OP pistol which uh, is actually quite more unique than anything else I've seen in the game this is going to be called the Skippy pistol and it's given to you directly from a quest marker in Haywood on this side of the map right here you don't need to do anything special to get it just head over there in this alleyway and it will be given to you automatically now the most unique thing about this gun is as follows first of all it is the only gun in the game that is fully voiced by an AI companion to the point that this will also talk in the middle of the combat second of all this is also the only gun in the game that I know of that fully scales with your character no matter if you level up or not so even if you level up you can still use it as it will level up alongside with you but by far the most important trait is the fact that it has auto tracking bullets that directly aim at the enemy's head meaning that you're literally using an aim bot like there is no tomorrow against these enemies and this is also why I recommend it to go ahead and check it out right now as it might get balanced sometimes in the future as it does feel a bit too powerful for its own good but it's really awesome it's a really awesome weapon deals high damage directly aims at the head and even more so it has a few more secrets in there that I will not spoil but let's just say that the gun kind of likes taking decisions for itself if I might say so Moving on to number 3, we have another really awesome weapon, this time around an assault rifle called Divided We Stand, which comes with a really interesting functionality. So this is given to you as a reward from a side mission called Stadium Love, found in the southern part of Santo Domenico region right here. So you will go onto the roof on this building and immediately see that there's a gun on the table. This is basically the gun that you want, it is marked, but unfortunately you cannot pick it at least not yet and that's because you need to win it and this quest basically involves target shooting but uh, you also do that while you are drunk so this is going to give you quite a bit of a challenge it's not too difficult though and the game auto saves after each round so if the previous round was amazing you don't lose your entire progress if you go back to it now if you beat the high score of about 44 you are going to be given this assault rifle called divided we stand so the gun is really powerful not because 
because it shoots high damage bullets but because of its secondary stat or should I say stats because it has different functionalities so one of them of course it can auto track up to five enemies at the same time but most important it shoots poisoned bullets that have a really high chance to apply a really powerful poison to any enemy which uh, deals actually way higher damage than the bullets you're using against them so literally you can just aim one if it applies that dot you can just leave that enemy because chances are it's already dead and if it's not it's going to be in just a few more seconds and also the fact that the bullets auto track and have a high chance to apply the poison makes it perfect to take advantage of behind the cover perks that you might find in different skill trees moving on to number four let's move over to some really awesome sniper rifles especially if if you're somebody like me who really enjoys a stealth sniper build so this is going to be the overwatch sniper rifle and likely the best for this type of build that i'm also using now in order to get this you do need to put a little bit more work into it because it is given to you to i believe the second or the third side job that you do with panem so if you want to get it you need to do the side mission called riders on the storm it's going to be found in the badlands area I mean, you don't need to do anything special during it though I will say that pay close attention to your surroundings during it because there are a ton of really awesome rewards on top but as long as you finish the mission successfully it is going to give you access to the sniper rifle for free and not only do you have a really powerful weapon that can crit for over 20,000 headshot damage it also comes automatically equipped with an advanced silencer so this is going to be perfect for you this means that if you go up against a camp of enemies as long as they don't see you or if they're not too close to one another you can take them one by one and they will not know where the source comes from so yeah unless you hit them with a bullet and they don't die only then will they discover you but otherwise they will be clueless of your position the entire time and this brings us to our final gun and likely the best one on the list or at the very least my favorite one that's gonna be the prototype Shingen Mark V SMG which seems to be the most powerful SMG right now in the game now you will find this in the Arasaka Industrial Park on this side of the map but I believe that you can only do so after finishing one of the main missions that you do with Takemura so basically once you reach the mission that brings you here after that you're gonna be able to come back and take this prototype Shingen but the place is gonna be heavily guarded so you're gonna have to be careful with that which is why I recommend going in into one of the exits on the side that might have fewer guards the SMG is going to be be located in the semi-opened container in the garage with number four in front of it so basically it's marked with a huge red square with number four on it but just be careful there's gonna be a landmine inside so what you want to do is to either shoot it or deactivate it using your quick hacks inside of it you will finally find this box and here is your legendary Shingen Mark V which is going to be really amazing now this weapon is an absolute beast and despite its seemingly low DPS and damage on the item card it actually is really OP for a number of reasons and the most important of course being the fact that it fires explosive rounds instead of just normal bullets this also means that you can auto track enemies since this is a tech weapon so it can automatically track up to three targets at the very same time and also has a really high crit chance and crit damage on the item card now when you shoot this you will literally see body parts constantly flying left and right simply because you're causing all of those explosions all the time so it's a really amazing weapon um it does have a really high APS which helps quite a bit with that but honestly it is really really satisfying to see it shooting body parts like there's no tomorrow but this is it with all of the amazing legendaries and other iconic weapons of course um there's gonna be way more that I'm gonna be covering in the upcoming days uh, stay tuned for that as always if you enjoyed this video it would be awesome if you left a like on it and I'll see you guys in the next one one.